Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. Well, bless the Lord. Thank you for joining us today for the Abiding Word broadcast. I'm Evangelist Dudley Smith, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today for this program. You're going to be blessed today by our anointed music on the program, and you're going to be edified by the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. And at the end of the program, you don't want to go anywhere. We're going to be praying just for you. Praise the name of God. So stay with us. We're going to get started right after this message. Christmas will be here before you know it, and nothing beats the gift of music. Our seasonal CD, A Very Special Christmas, will keep the spirit of the season alive and bring joy to your heart. Get your copy today by going to www.dudleysmith.net and clicking the Ministry Bookstore tab to make your purchase. Dudley's renditions of these endless classics will make the season bright. Order your CD today. We have your copy waiting for you, so you can have a very special Christmas.
Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith, and welcome to another edition of the Abiding Word broadcast. We're so glad that you're with us today, and pray that the Lord has really been blessing you in your day. And maybe you're here because you need your faith strengthened and you need a word from the Lord. We are glad to be able to bring the gospel to you in this manner. Praise God. We appreciate all of you that join us here on our internet program uh, to hear from uh, the Lord by his word. We've been talking about faith and now that how that uh, uh, faith has become a lifestyle or should be a lifestyle that we should live. Praise the name of Jesus. I've had many people come up to me, particularly in prayer lines, and they would ask me to pray for them that they would have more faith or greater faith. Praise God. Well, today I want to talk about how you can have faith. Glory to God. I want to talk about how to obtain faith. How do we, what do we do to obtain faith? How does faith actually come? Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. For those of us that are Bible scholars, we know what the word says in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Glory to God. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says this, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Praise God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Glory to God. I believe that, first of all, we need to understand uh, where faith is birth, where faith comes from. Hallelujah to God. Who constructs and dispenses faith in our life? Hallelujah. Who gives us the ability to believe God and all of his promises? Well, according to Hebrews here that we've just read, glory to God, that faith uh, uh, comes uh, from Jesus Christ, looking unto Jesus. We look unto Jesus. Hallelujah to God, the author and the finisher of our faith. What is that saying? Hallelujah. Without looking to Jesus, glory to God, your faith is... Uh, uh, it, it, is, it has no basis or no foundation to stand on. Jesus is the author. He's the uh, originator, so to speak. Faith comes by him, comes from him. Or glory to God, if we don't have faith in Jesus and who he is, glory to God, then our faith has no foundation. Hallelujah to God. And that's what we want in our life today. We want our faith to have a foundation, our faith to... Glory to God, have something to stand on. Glory to God forevermore. He's the author of our faith. He's the beginning of our faith. He's the originator of our faith. Hallelujah to God. We have to look unto Jesus in all things. We look unto him in everything that we face. We look unto Jesus in life in general. We look unto Jesus. Glory to God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah to God. In other words, he's the beginning of our faith and he's the end of our faith. Glory to God. We know him as to be the alpha and the omega. Praise God. The beginning and the end. First and the last. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We know him to be uh, this individual. Glory to God. This, this, this part of this, this person of the, of the Godhead. Glory to God. That authors our faith. He's the author. He's the beginning. He's the originator of our faith. Now, one thing that I, uh, I like to think about when I think about Jesus as being the author of my faith, glory to God, is that Jesus wrote the parameters of faith. When you author something, glory to God, uh, you set down, you construct it, uh, glory to God, you write the parameters of it, uh, uh, the beginning of it. You establish the beginning of our faith. Hallelujah. Jesus established the beginning of our faith. Praise God. Faith begins, in other words, with Jesus Christ. It begins with him. You have to believe in Christ and him crucified. Are you hearing me? Christ and the work of the cross. You have to believe Hallelujah, that he is the son of the living God. Glory to God. You have to believe that's where faith 
begins. Glory to God. In order to uh, uh, be able to tap into the promises of God, you must first believe in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ and what he's done, hallelujah, at the cross, then you are missing it. You are missing it. Hallelujah. You're missing, you're missing the whole ball of wax. You can't have faith uh, in something else and expect it to work for you. Now, you can have faith in it, yes, but it's not going to work, glory to God, because there's no finishing of that faith. Hallelujah. You can believe in a lot of things, but that belief system is faulty, is, is, you know, will fail you. Uh, faith must be founded upon Jesus Christ. It is founded upon Jesus Christ, and for us, it begins in Christ uh, and Christ alone. He's the author of it, glory to God. Now the word goes on to say that he's also the finisher of our faith. And when, that, uh, the, when, when it says the finisher of our faith, that everything that we ever hope uh, uh, to have and to receive uh, uh, and realize manifested in our life, according to God's promises, glory to God, is contained in Jesus Christ. It is contained in Jesus Christ, glory to God. He's the beginning of our faith and he's the end of our faith. He becomes the sum total of our faith. He becomes the sum total of your faith. What do you believe? What are you hoping for? Jesus is the sum total of your faith. Everything uh, that you pray for in this life and you ask God for begins with Jesus and it ends with Jesus. Glory to God. My God, that, that, that's really a powerful uh, concept that Jesus, uh, he authored my faith and then he finished my faith. Understand this, that with Jesus in God, uh, in, uh, with God in Jesus, let me put it that way, glory to God, our faith becomes a complete or finished book. Glory to God. You believe God for something, Hallelujah to God. And you say, I'm going to put my faith in Christ and I'm going to believe God for it. Understand this, glory to God, that uh, 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 our faith begin with Jesus and everything that is contained, uh, uh, that concerns that which we ask is contained in Jesus Christ. Praise the name of God. He brings us through. He brings us out. He works all things together for our good. Our job is just to keep believing him. Keep believing God. Many times we pray and we want to give up because nothing is happening. Glory to God. But that's not a time to give up. We should keep believing God and keep trusting in him because he's going to do exactly what he said that he would do for you. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because glory to God, he's able to finish what he started. Are you hearing me? He's able to finish and he will finish what he started praise the name of god what he initiate uh, what we initiate through him in prayer christ finishes it hallelujah to god the faith of, of of god the faith of jesus the faith in jesus will take us from the beginning of a situation all the way to the end of a situation praise god no matter what it is you're looking for no matter what it is you're praying for and hoping for hallelujah to god jesus will finish it I'm so glad about that. Hallelujah to God, because, you know, we as humans are, uh, uh, we can start things uh, and have a, a hard time of finishing some things. But uh, I'm glad that, you know, when I commit something to Christ, glory to God, in faith believing, hallelujah to God, he'll finish what is started. Are you hearing me? He will finish what is start starting, what is started. That's why when you're praying, you can't give up. That's why when you're praying, you can't stop believing. That's why when you're praying, you can't give up hope and throw your hands up in the air and begin to speak the words of doubt and unbelief. Glory to God, because he will continue to work. Hallelujah. Until the work is done. I'm so glad about that. Hallelujah to God. That inspires me. Glory to God to continue to believe because he is the author and the finisher. Glory to God. That once we commit our petition to the Lord, that he is going to finish. Hallelujah. And he's going to do those things that we ask. Glory to God. That we can ask in faith believing God. Hallelujah to God. And if our faith is in Jesus Christ, then it's a done deal. Glory to God. It's, it, it's going to happen. It's going to 
come to pass. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. This makes my heart glad today. Praise God that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, short, now uh, quickly here before I have to leave the air. Uh, glory to God. I, uh, one other uh, scripture I want to give that uh, we get faith. And it's in Romans 10, 17. And it says this, that uh, uh, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You, you cannot have faith uh, outside of the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How is that so? Uh, to know what you can believe for, to know what you can trust God for, you have to read the word of God. All the precious promises of God, hallelujah, are found in the word of God. Then you know what you can pray for. Then you know what you can hope for. Glory to God. So by that, if you know that you can have these things, glory to God, then you can begin to ask for them and you can begin to believe for them and knowing that God, hallelujah, uh, is not slack, the word says, concerning his promises. He's not slack, slack concerning his promises. So I know that I can have healing, glory to God, or I know I can have deliverance. I know that I can have uh, my need supplied because his word said I can. And so I begin to hear that in the word of God as I begin to read it. That's why it's important to read your word, glory to God, to listen to good gospel preaching, glory to God, and to get the word of God in your spirit so you know what you have access to, what you have a right to. Faith is increased, in other words, when we hear the word of God. Keep hearing it, keep hearing it. Our faith will be increased, glory to God. Then you'll know exactly what you can believe for, glory to God. So we know that God is, uh, uh, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith, praise the name of God, and that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, that Jesus, that's what he did, he just spoke the word of God, and by that we can have faith. I encourage you today, glory to God, to hear the word of God and get it into your spirit. Know the promises of God, hallelujah, and I guarantee you that God will bless your life according to his word. The DSM Broadcast Network programs are blessing millions around the world, and we would love for you to be a part of our media audience. There is so much music and ministry available 24 hours per day, seven days a week, that will bless your heart and keep you inspired. Go to www.dudleysmithonline.net and click the DSM Media tab to watch our streaming TV broadcasts or listen to our radio station. Join the millions who tune in each day, whose lives are always blessed. We'll see you there. Well, it looks like our time has come and gone again for another uh, edition of the Abiding Word broad broadcast. But we're so glad that you are with us today, and we want to pray a special prayer of faith for you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you, God. We bless you, Father. Hallelujah. That we can come to you and make our needs known before you, Father. God, I ask, God, Lord, that you touch, Father, in Jesus' name. Somebody need a healing in their body, God. Lord, give a healing right now. Let the healing virtue that flow from Calvary flow to your son or daughter right now. In the name of Jesus, somebody needs deliverance, Father. Many of your children need deliverance, Father, from the pestilence that have gone throughout the land, God, Lord. Deliver miraculously right now in the name of Jesus, God. And we give you praise and we give you honor, God. And we're going to bless your name. Hallelujah, God, because we receive what we pray for, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, if this program has been a blessing to you, glory to God. We'd love to hear from you. You can email us at dudleysmith at bellsouth.net. That's dudleysmith at bellsouth.net. Or if you prefer, you can write us. Send us a letter in the mail at Dudley Smith Ministries, 607 Cynthia Court, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27534. Now, any of the music and books that are advertised on our program can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmithonline.net. We thank you for joining us today. 
And we hope to see you again on another edition of The Abiding Word. God bless you and be blessed in the Lord all week long. Christmas will be here before you know it, and nothing beats the gift of music. Our seasonal CD, A Very Special Christmas, will keep the spirit of the season alive and bring joy to your heart. Get your copy today by going to www.dudleysmith.net and clicking the Ministry Bookstore tab to make your purchase. Dudley's renditions of these endless classics will make the season bright. Order your CD today. We have your copy waiting for you so you can have a very special Christmas.